anyway, let's continue on our journey up the stairs to see more of this hotel. Hopefully, we get to get done with the tour and we can move on because this looks like chapter one is going to actually be pretty long. Um, I really respect the Marvelous Stoner. Okay. So these, I will not go into these rooms. You can go into them, but we'll be going into them later. There's no point in going into them now. Eighth floor. I'm trying to speed things up, as you can tell. Um, the eighth floor. We have a person here. It's just so big, I've gotten lost. So I decided to sit down and do nothing. Even though it has a map. Phew, I'm a little short on sleep. Go to bed. And she wants to steal one of those made outfits. I mean, try on... It's not hinting towards anything. Ignore that. <laughs> oh, and that's that's another thing I hate the control sometimes bug out like Spider-Man games do when you they change the camera. On this floor there's standard hotel rooms. Hey sis, I'm really hungry. Next I'm gonna eat the re at the restaurant. I'd love to eat at the restaurant, but they kick us out all the time. Tenth floor! Oh, there are sweets on this floor. What do you want to play now? This is actually where a hotel, the area where Maury, not Maury, where Richard and Conan and the group are staying. Um, the kids and the kids and Rachel are staying in here. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think about them, and when I think about them, I think the Japanese names. So I'm trying to translate it, and it's. it's process thing in my brain. This is um, Conan's room, basically. Yes, he gets a room all to himself. Or so we think. But it looks like that's all there is to this area. And now there's the other floor. Because this place is kind of big, even though it's not really kind of big. It's pointlessly big, actually. Oh, we have the highest score of the game arcade! Let's go to the shop later. And that appears to be everyone. Except for one more floor. The 12th floor. Where we can see nobody over here. And this maid. This is a royal suite. Well, I don't care. So it's time we go back down to the first... The first floor. And... Go through these double doors. And then a cutscene plays. And you just have to see Richard talking with those girls, and then the cutscene plays. And Mr. Chase is talking with Mr. Ogre. That's not suspicious. Wait, he's angry. <laughs> he was just squirting his face, he didn't even put it in his mouth. <laughs> okay. So basically, they obviously know each other and whatnot, and things are. Yeah. So basically, this is setting up the story stage for the mysteries that are to come later on. As you can tell, Mr. Ogre is going to have something to do with it. Mr. Chase is going to have something to do with it. In fact, everyone but the Count the Conan group is going to have something to do with it. So... Now they're gone. Because obviously they teleport. Now where they go? They don't say anything important anymore, so let's just go to the courtyard where... Another cutscene blaze! Oh, there's nature here! That's a relief. Even though we were just out here earlier and saw the nature then. And there's Keith and Emily, and they're rehearsing their act by standing around talking. And not really doing anything. Because, um, you'll see the act they're supposed to be working on, uh, later on. They don't have any of the equipment for it here to be practicing, so they're doing, probably doing something else. Uh, either standing around talking or something, like, dating or something, I don't know. Because they're in a public place, so they're probably not, you know, you know, having sex or anything, but they're not rehearsing for their act, obviously. And it's just strange, and you'll see why later on in chapter 3 or 4. I think 3. Anyway, 
Now we spoke with them. Basically, they don't say anything really interesting anymore. It's just pretty much a repeat of what they said before. So now we go back into the gym. And it's time to have a mystery unfold. So gang, let's all get in our Scooby-Doo meal and go to the fourth floor of the gym. Which has no third floor. This certainly is the third floor because there is no fourth floor. I mean third floor. Anyway, that's gone. So we can go into the gym. I mean the pool. Once we get into the pool, they're basically like, hey, no one's here. Of course, it just opened. I mean, it was... it was... closed earlier. And... Oh! oh my gosh! It's that unknown person! They were a red shirt, even though their shirt is yellow! So we've run into our first mystery. And it appears she was strangled... by a cord. It wasn't me! Just because I'm holding a weird mode nunchuck doesn't mean I did anything. And now we are in the area of expertise that concerns mysteries. So basically they're going to call more characters in so we can talk to them. And now we're going to be investigating, which is just more of pressing A while pointing. Look for the killer's motive. Okay, first the only thing we can do is check the body. Point and press the A button. Now this bugs me. You can point in the purse, which has something important, and he doesn't do anything. Nothing. You have to look at other stuff first. The killer strangled the victim from behind. The circulation mark is clear. Most of this is stuff you that doesn't matter. The victim has no ring on the ring finger. So was she single? Her clothing wasn't damaged, so it probably wasn't a violent struggle. There are no signs of resistance. There's also a chance the killer first knocked her out with some kind of sleeping medicine before murdering her. Anything else? Nope. Now let's try the bag. And now we can do stuff with the bag. And this is very awkward. I have to point the rear remote at myself to get it to this point. And then I have to just point at it and press A again. Rather than just looking at the contents of it, they make us go through that twice in this game. Yes, twice. Wow, what a well-used game mechanic. And basically we have the ID card here, or business cards. Her handkerchief, because in Japan they usually carry around handkerchiefs. A newspaper. And... Some money in her wallet. Theft is not the motive. And lastly we have... Lipstick. Makeup case, basically. Uh, I think I have to put on the newspaper last. Yeah, so when you have to click on something last, you often go over it twice, so it's a really bad way of doing things. And whatnot. So basically, we're here... That's pretty much all the investigating we're doing. And from now on, we're going to be talking with people until the next time we investigate that is. This, I think this investigation is over. So basically, they're going to be going, what in the world happened here? We found a dead body, like always! Don't you get that? That's the whole thing about this series? I mean, though, if you pay attention to Conan's series, it's almost as if he has to be an omen for bad luck because no one runs into dead bodies as often as he does. And Mr. Chase recognizes her, of course. And he's told to call the police. Alright. And... They can, they're pulling off the gym now, from now on. Basically, the rest of the game, the gym is inaccessible. And he goes, no, I don't know her. I've never seen her before. And he says, when you saw the victim a second ago, didn't you say, it's her? And then he goes, basically, I, I meant her, I saw her in the entrance hall. I wasn't acquainted with her. And he's lying. So he must have done it. He's the murderer, we've solved it! Actually not. But we'll find out who it is, and it could be him! Because anyone could be the murderer. Well, the police are worse if he doesn't go to light. 
And he wants us basically to keep it under under wraps so the other guests can just continue to enjoy themselves. We could have a horrible effect on business. And Mori goes to agree. Richard agrees to go along with it. And basically, we talk to the dead body going, Hey, dead body. And the body goes, Clue. Here. And then Kona goes, Thanks. And they say you received your first pair of information! So basically, we are now... checking the body again! And... we get the another piece of information! And that's all we can get from the body! Now we have to talk to... Richard, and basically, we get another piece of information, and we talk to him again, and basically gives us another piece of information, and that's the last piece of information we get out of him. So let's recklessly skateboard in near a pool. We can't fall in. This is a video game. Talk to her. Basically, I think we just have to talk to her again until we get to the part where we can solve the mystery. This is all kind of stuff we've gone over. You know, hiding her identity. Um, she's put a lot of... yeah. But none of this stuff really is super important. Um, I think this is it. No, the other one. Third time we've talked to her in a row, and she very much points out what we already saw. He should know the victim. And with that, time to go into the clue chain. Alrighty. Oopsie, wrong button. <laughs> clue chain. And here we go. The victim was hiding her identity. So. Let's see. Hiding around sunglasses sounds like it would go there. Sunglasses were indoors sound like it would go there. And Mr. Chase doesn't. So those are actually the two clues for this one. Come on. Which is kind of redundant because we have it twice basically. Yes, we know she wore sunglasses. And the answer here is she connected with someone. Yes, she is. And let's go to the bottom box. Is it possible she was murdered by someone? Now this one really, really doesn't make as much sense. This one makes sense. Maybe she was wrapped up in some kind of trouble. Yeah? And the purse was left alone. The theft was probably was a motive. Both of those sound correct, but only one of them is. The other one isn't. The victim owned luxury products, meaning she probably wasn't short of money. That doesn't have anything to do with the murder, really. I mean, it could have something to do with it, but it doesn't say directly anything about the murder that happened. So while it's correct, it's just... it's just weird. The reasoning is just weird. Um, the last part is this one. Yes. That's what they wanted us to build up to. So, yeah. The reasoning in this is just very, very weird. <laughs>